Hi, I'm Teresa and welcome to pre and post workout stretching. This pre-workout stretch will focus on your lower body and core. You don't need any equipment for it, just a positive mental attitude and a yoga mat. Let's begin seated. So you're gonna start with your heels on the ground, your hands placed behind your back. And you're just going to gently windshield wiper from side to side allowing for your body to gently open up your hip flexors, a light stretch in your IT band, just a general movement we don't do enough. So often our legs are forward or folded. We don't allow for this outward mobility to really open up our body. We're gonna do this for about 20 more seconds. While in this position, you can appreciate your chest being open as well. Twisting each shoulder in as you go side to side. Now we're going to put our knees in that 90 degree, one side. And you're gonna twist your body so it's facing one of your legs that is in the 90 degree position. You're gonna gently hinge at the hip and you'll start to feel a deep stretch in your hip that's on the ground. Gently pulse back and forth. Don't overdo it, we're just starting to get into the hips. If you're more flexible, feel free to put your forearms on the ground. Flex your foot to protect your knee. And just rest in this position. We're gonna hold this for 20 more seconds. you want a little bit more, you can outstretch your arms and crawl your fingers forward until you're in a full forward fold. So you're either outstretched on your forearms or you're pulsing back and forth. Very good. Now come to a neutral position allow your legs to shake out and we're gonna switch to that same windshield wiper position on the opposite side allow for your hips to face forward towards your knee that's on the ground and your hip that's on the ground place your hands in front of your foot here and then again just gently pulse back and forth really starting to get into your hip your lower glute, and I feel this all the way up into my back. Again, for a bit of a deeper stretch, you can come down to your forearm. Take a deep breath here. And then graduate into crawling out into a full forward fold. Gently come up into your form if you're outstretched. And make your way back onto your palms for some gentle pulsing. This is the basis to which all the rest of our movements are going to come from. So it's very important that we stretch out the hips here. back up to neutral and we're going to lie down on our back slowly roll down one vertebrae at a time and you're going to bring one knee into your chest now with your one knee into your chest I want you to grab underneath your knee right at your thigh and we're going to gently straighten and bend our leg and if your leg is way up here and you're straightening and bending Go to where you start to feel tension. We're not trying to overextend these stretches, we're just moving into the deeper stretch movements. 
So for me, I feel it right here. So I'm gently going to keep pulsing back and forth with my leg. Now walk your hands up your thigh to your ankle and just hold it there. Allow for this static pose to go deeper into the muscle in your hamstring. Roll your ankle around one direction and then the other. Take a deep breath into where you feel the tension. It's okay if your leg is shaking a little bit. Appreciate that you have this mobility, it's such a gift. Deep inhales and exhales, allowing for your lungs to stretch along with you. Then slowly bring your leg back down to the other and wiggle it out. Now bring your other knee into your chest. Grab behind your kneecap and your thigh. And again, this is where we're gonna pulse our stretch. Go ahead and flex your foot. Stretching down and up. Maybe this is the first time in a long time you've really given yourself a deep stretch. It's so important to lubricate the muscles before you work out. The chances of injury become far less ample when you've lubricated your muscles before going into movements. Especially if you're doing any sort of weight training or HIIT training or cardio. You wanna make sure you tend to your muscles before you start to build them. Now walk up to your ankle, hold in this static stretch. Again, it's okay if you need a little bit of less um, mobility on your opposite leg. My other leg is far more flexible than this one. Flex your foot up to the ceiling, really feel the stretch down the back of your leg, all the way up into your glutes. Gently bring your legs down to meet each other and sit your body up so that both your legs are outstretched in front of you, your feet are flexed. Take a deep inhale towards the sky and then you're gonna gently fold over. Take your time with this. I don't want you to roll your back. I don't want you to round your back. I want you to keep your back flat as you can. And then you're gonna grab the backs of your feet if it's possible, if not, Keep your palms flat on the ground. I don't want you rounding into this. You can feel the difference in the tension in your hamstrings when your back stays straight. Deep inhale, exhale, go deeper into the stretch. Inhale, exhale, deeper into the stretch. One more time, inhale, exhale. Now let everything go. Allow your back to round. Allow your body just to let gravity do the work. Feel the natural stretch up through the base of your spine all the way down through your hamstrings to your toes. Flex your feet, feel it even deeper. And then roll back up one vertebrae at a time. Now cross your ankles, come onto all fours, and we are going to step one of our feet out towards the front of the mat into a deep lunge. Place both hands on the inside of your front foot and just allow yourself to go into what's called lizard lunge. Just pulse gently into your hips. Allow, if you'd like, for your foot to go on edge, splaying out, getting into your IT band, into your hip, all the way up into your glute. 
flutter back and forth from the edge of your foot to the flat side of your foot, the edge to the sole of your foot. If you're highly mobile again, go on down into your forearm. Really get deep into this lizard pose. You can circle your hips in one direction, circle in the other. I really encourage just freedom of movement in this pose. Right? We don't expand our hips in this position very often. Allow your body to open and expand. Now come back up on both hands. Place one hand on the opposite side of your front foot. And we're just gonna go into half Hanuman, half split pose. So just flex your front foot and bend towards your front leg and then come back into a lunge. Stretch back to a flexed foot. Come back into a lunge. Stretch into your front foot. Back into a lunge. And now we're gonna switch sides. So come on to both knees. Step forward with your opposite foot, both hands on the inside of your front foot. Just really bounce into that. Pulsing up and down. Letting gravity do its work. You can go to the edge side of your front foot here. Really opening up your hip. Coming back to the sole of your feet. Opening up to the edge. Coming back to the sole of your feet. Going into some circles. Just really appreciating the movement here. Again, if you're very flexible, you can come down onto your forearms. And pulse here. Opening up. sole of your foot. Come up on your hands and put hands on either side of your front foot. And we're going to go back into that half Hanuman pose. Come back forward. Half Hanuman. Half splits. Come forward. As you go back, flex your front foot. Lean forward. Back to the front. All right, now as we are into our front foot here, we're just gonna walk around to the front of our mat. And what we are in here is half skandhasana. Skandhasana is a pose where one of your legs is bent and the other is outstretched and you're facing forward. So think of it as a forward fold with one heel and on your knees. So we're just gonna gently pulse up and down here really opens up our inner thigh. Pulse up and down. Sitting slowly back towards your heel. Great, now come back onto both knees and we're gonna switch sides. So extend your other foot onto your heel. You're resting with your other knee on the ground. And again, just pulsing down and up. Really opening up your inner thigh. And then slowly going back towards your heel. And your back toes on the knee that's down can either be curled under or flat, whatever is comfortable to you. Finally, we're gonna put both knees on the floor. You're gonna spread them slightly wider than your shoulders and just sit back. This may be as far as you can go. Just allow yourself to pulse back and forth, opening up your hips, really feeling that gentle pressure. We sit 
in the exact opposite position so often in our days as we're driving in our cars, as we're typing on our phones. This is so good for releasing your hip muscles. We hold a lot of our motions in our hips. This allows to expand our energetic being as well as our physical being. Now come back into tabletop in a seated position. And just wiggle your legs back and forth like so. Just feel the difference that that stretching did for your lower body. You're now highly mobile and ready for your workout.